Story 1. Either you sell me the book for $100 or I will get the book for zero. I would gladly buy textbooks for university if they were not going to cost hundreds for loose pages. Laughing my off, instead of making a reasonable profit for me, they will make nothing. Our lecturer made everyone buy his textbook but neglected to tell us that we were not actually using it. It was not core material but was rather intended to help clarify confusion as if the internet was not a thing. Pirated every single last one of those textbooks. Realized as I was doing it that the content was all exactly the same but the chapters were just switched around for the newer editions. I hate what education has become and continues to grow into. Story 2. My wife's very old garage door opener recently stopped working. I was surprised when I looked online and not a single replacement was available anywhere. I did a little more research and found out that the frequency it uses has been reallocated by the Federal Communications Commission. It is illegal to buy, sell, or use transmitters of this frequency without the permission of the new owner of said frequency. So yes, we have been illegally opening our garage door every morning for the last 10 years. Story 3. Last week, I left my garbage can on the side of my house where it can be viewed from the road. This incurs a fine if reported to my city. Please don't tell anyone. I'm big time over here. Story 4. A group of us in my area exchange items using each other's mailboxes. We leave extra produce, eggs, and payment for tasks among other things. We are a wild, rebellious bunch, I am telling you. Story 5. I didn't do the illegal thing, but I helped my granddaughter make a lemonade stand without permits, so I guess I contributed to the delinquency of a minor. Story 6. I have my computer dial all phone numbers in Sunnyvale, California. Once it finds the number for the ProDivision game server, I instruct it to play Global Thermonuclear War. Story 7. I regularly commit felony level speeding violations on our farm roads. For some reason, when I'm about 10 minutes from the house, my body always says it's time to poop. Sometimes I win the race and sometimes I lose. Story 8. Let my son, who is 15 and doesn't have a permit yet, drive in an empty office parking lot. I'd prefer he's comfortable behind the wheel before I start paying for driver's education in a few weeks. Story 9. Well, every day at work, whenever somebody closes out their account, I take the remaining balance and route it to a checking account that I've... Wait a minute. Story 10. Sheesh, weed is legal in my country. Everybody jaywalks, and cops do not even know what jaywalking is. I have talked my way out of fines for driving without a license. That is the worst thing I have ever done. I do not drive anymore because of epilepsy. Story 11. I built my 10 by 10 metal shed from a box, which is in no way a permanent structure, for feet from my property line. City ordinance for sheds dictates they must be 10 feet away. I live in a neighborhood on a one-third acre lot. Having the shed 10 feet from the property line places it in the middle of the yard. I'm not in favor of that. Story 12. Change light bulbs. This is illegal in Australia unless you are an electrician, which I am not. I am not sure how this law is supposed to be enforceable. Hello? Police? Someone changed a light bulb. Story 13. Smoke a joint while I take a walk around the block. I'm in a legal state and my boss allows even approves of us smoking on our off hours, but I have nowhere legal to smoke. I live in a small apartment with a not-so-private balcony. Can't drive anywhere without risking a DUI or accident. I figure if I keep it moving and don't loiter in any one spot, I'm less likely to upset anyone. Story 14. I house two individuals from Sonora who stay in my extra bedroom, rent-free. They cook, clean, repair, remodel, and tend to chickens, livestock, and the husband helps me with fixing cars. He finds work during the day and just bought himself a truck that we are currently working on. His wife prepares food every day and maintains a clean house. We are doing what we can to help them with their citizenship, and I enjoy everything about having them as a part of our family. Story 15 pirate movies and TV shows. I'm not paying for something I don't own on digital storefronts. If I really want to own the movie or show legally, I might buy the DVD. Story 16. In Germany, we have a law that makes it illegal to use hacker tools. This law includes things like curl, get, filezilla, or phpMyAdmin. That's not a joke. 
Story 17. These days, the only thing would be smoking weed. I live in Tennessee where it will most likely never be fully legalized. Ten years ago, though, I was involved in some pretty devious activities. Looking back, it's a miracle I made it where I am today. There were a lot of drugs and drug-related business back then. Life has slowed down considerably, and I like it better this way. Story 18. Answered before, but what's with the same questions today? Watching sports broadcasts that are pirated. I'm not spending over $100 a month to see my favorite team. Story 19. Speeding. Where I live, the speed limit is legally the maximum but culturally the minimum. If you drive at or below it, a line will form behind you and everyone will dislike you, and you may even trigger aggressive responses from other drivers. On the other hand, if you drive over it, that's ticket territory. So the trick is to drive like three to five over the limit. Exceptions are dense neighborhoods and school zones where you need to be at or below, or you'll be disliked and ticketed for speeding and people who get upset with you for driving slow there can keep it to themselves. And the interstate highway, where the speed limit may as well not exist, and you drive the speed of traffic for safety, and everybody just plays ticket roulette together. Story 20. I talk about Bruno. I roll doubles three times in a row. I tell Bob the builder he can't fix it. I lie about being hit in dodgeball. And last but not least, I inform my enemies that their mothers are morbidly obese and I engaged in exciting fun time with said mothers. Story 21. It is illegal to fly a kite in a public place in the United Kingdom. Guess what I have been doing all summer? You can't stop me now. Throw away the key if you can catch me and my kite, that is. Story 22. I remove the tags from all those pillows, totally disregarding the warnings that it's illegal to remove them. Come and get me, officers. Those tags were crinkly and had to go. Story 23. I sped. I followed too closely. I ran a stop sign. I almost hit a Chevrolet. I sped some more. I failed to yield at a crosswalk. I changed lanes at the intersection. I changed lanes without signaling while running a red light and speeding. And I have unpaid parking tickets. Story 24. I regularly drive without my shoes on and with my left leg up in the seat. I download 90% of everything I watch without paying for it. I sometimes keep the coupon to reuse instead of putting it in the slot. 